Welcome everybody to the Millionaire Mindset Radio Show. I am your host, Andre Jones, with my co-host, Jackie Cooper, Dr. Jackie Cooper. And I wanted to uh, thank everybody for coming on. I want to ask you to please share this Facebook Live with everybody. Uh, this is a, a very good show we're going to have. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, purchasing a home and the qualifications for person purchasing a home and some of the uh, programs that could allow you to maybe get down payment assistance and being seller contribution and all those type of things. So please share this Facebook Live with, with your uh, with your friends and uh, we're going to uh, talk to a, a good person that knows a lot about that. But first I want to allow, allow you to know that right now is a good time to sit and think about purchasing a home. Um, you're filing your taxes pretty soon and that money and the money that the government is going to probably try to give us one of these days it may be something that you can put towards put your, buying a house and you know the benefits of buying a house is even right now you can uh file the interest on your taxes every year you know you get a, a homestead exemption which is basically a, a discount on your property taxes once a year that you file on your income taxes um you know you get to decorate your home any type of way you want you can uh live in any neighborhood you want to live in. You can, you know, dictate where and what you have instead of having a landlord tell you what you can or cannot do, okay? Uh, a lot of times right now, especially during these uh, times of crisis, landlords may want to move back in their home after your lease is over, and then you have to move again. You know, you have to, you know, they, their mortgage is behind or they lost them losing their home. And so they got a property and now they got somewhere else to go. And so they're going to put you out to get in there. Right. Or they may have a family member they want to put in there instead of you. You know, they don't have to renew your lease. So you got to think about that. You have not a lot of control when you're renting and leasing. Okay. On top of that, you can't decorate the house you want. They're gonna probably take your security deposit most of the time because they their way of thinking is different than yours, you know, when it comes to uh, you know, being what uh what they call it, um they well taking care of it the way they think you should take, take care, care of it. it. Let's put it that way. And so this is you know, this is get away from the renting right now, okay? And not saying renting is bad. There's a time and a place and it's always something that you can use to build on, but don't get comfortable doing it okay so let's you know let's get prepared to buy a home this is the year the interest rates are low uh mr i got my mortgage lender here he's gonna talk to you about that too and uh so this is a great time to buy a home so if you're ready to buy and you're ready to move forward if you need credit repair you know let me know i got people that can help you with your credit that can get your credit repaired usually in three or four months depending on you know how much work they gotta do to it you know so uh, just give me a call and let me know. Go to my website, andresjones.com. Set up a free consultation. You know, uh, give me a call, 832-883-0375. And I got people that are ready to help you if when you're ready. Let's get the process started, all right? All right, today we got a good special guest today. Uh, I've, I've you know, known him for a few months, uh, worked with him before, and uh, he's... He's a real nice guy. He's got a lot of knowledge. Uh, we were just actually talking about a lot of things before the show. And, you know, he's got a, a lot he wants to do in the community. So I want to introduce today Damon Sorrell from Academy Mortgage. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Damien? Nice to meet you. Now, remember, you know? Damien is the evil one. Damien. That's right. Damon. Take, take that out. I'm sorry. That's, Damon. The, that's, that's the evil one. I'm the good one. <laughs> That's the old name. No, no, okay, no. I got I'm you. the other. Yeah, I got you. I'm, I, I, I'm gonna get that right. <laughs> Look, so, I've been I've been called from a lot worse. Probably a lot worse. I've <laughs> been right. called all kind of names. I know that's right. Damon. <laughs> oh Lord. Damian. Devil. Uh oh. Uh oh. And some other words, but we, yeah, you know, we'll leave that okay. alone. <laughs> right. Well, tell tell us, Damon. Tell us about you. Tell us, Damon. Damon. Tell us about you. Tell us where you're from. You know, give us a little bit of your history. You know, you know, how did you become? You know, decide to become a loan officer and and, and everything. Okay. Well, I am a native Houstonian. I am from the prestigious Fifth Ward, Texas. Oh yeah, Fifth Ward. Fifth Ward. Uh, so, 
I started, I will say it this way. So I, my background is I started from sweeping hair in the barbershop from AK Brown Barbershop, doing volunteer work at the Julius C. Hessen okay. House prior to Fifth Ward. Uh, used to shine shoes at CNL Shoe Shop for Louis Dorian. So I've always done some type of service work. Mm -hmm. uh, cut some yards, but mm -mm, and it can't. <laughs> Uh, yeah. that don't work. I, I quickly let that one go. Went to working uh, working at Foot Locker and Foot Action in the illustrious Northline Mall. Okay, you know? I remember and Northline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dealing with those funky feet. I, I, that was it, for you. It, well, you know what? It taught me sales. This all these jobs mm -hmm. taught me customer service and sales. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, from there, I worked my That's way. That's where the money to, is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it just, I worked my way up into corporate with AT&T and other organizations, and when my time was up with them, I had an opportunity to get into the mortgage industry, uh, but in between that time, uh, I bought my first house um, in 2005, and I got a down payment assistance program. Okay. And so, it, now I'll say this, the experience was horrible. Now, the, the experience with the realtor was great. But that lending company, yeah. oh, it was rough. It was yeah. rough. Um, but I made it through because I wanted the house. Yeah. And so I was able to get get my son and I a house. And from there, I started thinking, I said, you know, I could do this. I, I know I can give people a better experience. I can, you know, than what I, what I received. Yeah. Now, it took, you know, a few years of working with AT&T, kind of learning different skills. And once I left from there, I got into the industry and from there it, it was all for me it was all about if I can give people a great experience and give them a path give them the plan yeah mm -hmm. um, I can get them there uh, especially when I learned the history of uh, redlining when we know from the 70s and mm -hmm. other times where people of color wasn't given an opportunity because they didn't really have representation yeah. mm -hmm. in the mortgage industry mm -hmm. uh, that they got declined for loans or even got higher interest rates. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to make sure that everyone uh, got a great experience, especially those who were a reflection of me. I wanted to make sure that when they see my face, they see my name, know that you have an advocate. You have somebody who's going to fight for you, yeah. that's going to help you through this, that they don't have to figure it out. Uh, I'm going to listen to them, give them the plan and say, if you do these things, you provide this paperwork, you're going to reach your goal. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Because, you know, to be able to know that you can impact people's lives, uh, like for myself, to be able to get my, uh, to move from Fifth Ward to uh, South Fair, man, that did so much for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, just, I was able to get my son into school, school of choice, right. uh, to be in a different environment. And there are so many people when I talk with them, that's their goal. That's, that's they, one of the they, main they reasons want, why they want to change. They want an opportunity. Yes, right. they just mm -hmm. want an opportunity. They want they want a better option than mm -hmm. where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to line up with them, work with them, and mm -hmm. hear them out. And when the, one of the greatest things is to be able to pick up the phone and call them and say, "Hey, congratulations, you're mm -hmm. a homeowner." Well, yeah. Your loan has been fully approved. Yeah. And, you know, I can't for, wait to hear that too. I love hearing that. <laughs> yeah. And so for some of them, I mean, man, they they get emotional. They, I'm they, sure it's a journey. It's a journey. It's a celebration. It's, it, it is, is a celebration. It is something to really some, celebrate. Yeah, because I mean, for some, they, they're like, man, I didn't. Never knew I could do it. it. Never knew I could right. do it. Yeah. Right. And, and they're so appreciative that I've received what is it, Tiffany's uh, ice Tiffany cream? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 not Tiffany and Company. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, what, what's the one with the ice cream and that, that hot chocolate chip? I've, people sent me all, all, get all kind of, of gifts and stuff. All yeah. kind of gifts. I've gotten pictures of them in front of their homes, yeah. and they yeah. just, to see the smiles on their family's faces, right. oh, man, it's it and just and beautiful. just to be able to know that you help yeah, that's rewarding be able to get right. you know one of the probably the biggest purchase they're going to ever buy yes. in their life you know yes. and just to be able to mm -hmm. you know just, just a good feeling to know that you know you helping them create wealth you know that you helping them establish themselves mm -hmm. get some stability mm -hmm. you know yes. all those things just coming 
come together. Come when, with and it's not even about the money so no. much. At least not with me. It's not about the money. It's just being able to satisfy mm -hmm. other people and get them something that's going to help improve their lives. Yes. You know, in in the short term and the long term. Yes. Know? Mm -hmm. So one of the he's passed now, but a motivational speaker, Zig Ziglar. He said, "You want to be successful in life." help people yeah right that's and it. so that's how i look at it become a person of value yeah, be, mm -hmm. become a person of value help that's people it. and like you say it's it's not it's not about the money i right. like it but <laughs> yeah, i'm able right. to get some things done but to know that you're able to impact mm -hmm. communities right. yeah uh so tell us about the mortgage like, okay let's just talk about the mortgage here let's just be straight up okay we finna, you know we finna find out what it is that you need to do to get a house. So we don't so, want any more red liners. Okay. <laughs> okay. So tell us, okay, first first thing in the process is finding a lender, right? That is, that is the first step, finding a lender. Now yeah. why should I apply for a loan even if I don't feel like mm -hmm. I might be ready or my credit's not good or whatever the case may be? You need information. You need a you need a plan and a path. You know, I, I get it in this in in, in this day and age. Everybody got access to Google, but I'm going to be honest, Google is <laughs> not the answer to everything. It, it, it kind of gives you a partial, Sometimes a partial false answer. hope. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and so they need to talk with someone like myself because we got to give them a plan. Some people, they're scared. They're like, I don't want to get reje rejected. I never reject anybody. I just say, it's not a no. It's just a not right now. Mm -hmm. But here, look, I'm going to give you this, give you this plan. If you follow this plan, that not not now, not right now, turns into a yes later if you just follow this plan. Right? What's, can you describe a typical plan, especially for those that are reluctant to, you know, go for it because they might think it's, you know, poor credit or... Okay. So, it it, it comes down to, once we talk with the person, they, they want to know, well, what's the, what are the requirements? Okay. So, depending on the company... Uh, let's say the minimum requirement is 620. So okay. the first thing we will talk about is the credit score. Okay. But then after that, we need to talk about their lifestyle. When I say their lifestyle is how do they live their life? Are you self-employed? Okay. Uh, do you work for an employer? Um, especially due to COVID, mm -hmm. COVID changed a lot of things to where we need to really talk with the person because some people in, in 2020 um, may have been uh, furloughed or laid off right. for a uh, portion of the year so we need to talk about it and put the plan together to first ask them hey what's the status with your employment have you talked with your employer do they still have you on part-time full-time did they cut your or overtime no time, yeah, no, <laughs> did, did they cut yeah. your overtime yeah. and that way then I can say all right they cut your overtime all right let's put a plan together based off of your base, base salary base your base salary, salary. Right. and go from there and so each plan is is custom. I'm custom okay. customizing the plan okay. based on that person's lifestyle, what's going on mm -hmm. in their life. And then to say, okay, here's the amount of money that you need to save up. And I explained to them about, you know, appraisal inspection, home inspections, and different things like say, that, saying just save up for these things. Uh, go to work. <laughs> keep the job keep the job and right. you know we may have to talk about budgeting and I'm saying that okay look but what is so, so what are some things they shouldn't do when they're trying to go through the process okay so now you said you know stay keep a job which is pretty obvious to most people so discipline but what <laughs> else well, sometimes it well, is sometimes it's not but but well, I get it but okay get it. well keep a job and keep the yeah. same type of employment also right that's another thing don't switch from w2 to self-employed during so yes so you want to be if you're trying to buy a home immediately you need to stay w2 if you switch from w2 to self-employed the game changes Why? because you have by the government guidelines you have to have a two-year history of being self-employed based on what you reported to the irs mm. after your write-offs and deductions so that right there uh, affects a lot of people. So give truck, an example. Tr uh, truck drivers. Truck give drivers. an example of what somebody might do and, and how y'all come up with the bottom line. Okay. Um, so I talked with the client yesterday um, and they're needing to know step A. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is talk, talk to him about his income, explain his income, how much he makes. So I calculate it and I let him know, this is how much housing ratio, how much money they'll let you use out of your gross monthly income because they're not gonna let you use all Everything your money. Right. So if you make 4,000 a month, they ain't letting you use the whole 4,000. Right. You can only, the maximum you can use out of the 4,000 gross monthly is 1,600, 40 percent. That's the max they'll let you use. Okay. But that number goes down as the more debt you carry. Okay. So, I like your credit cards and the monthly debt. Mm -hmm. So, so car notes, mm -hmm. car notes mm -hmm. student loans, mm -hmm. uh, installment payments. These paid uh, personal loans right. slash payday loans, cons and stuff like that. Cons, <laughs> different day. Those installment loans. <laughs> so yes. yeah. So. We, we look at those things and then I'll say, hey, um, if you can work work uh, work on paying these particular items off or say, buyer A, hey, I know you wanna buy 250,000, but based on what the decisions you've already made, mm -hmm. looking at your credit report, you can buy, just not at 250. You may only be able to buy at 200 okay. and say, let's focus on that. I know you want that dream house at 250, but most people don't get that dream house the first time around. First time around let's right. just get our foot in the game. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's just get our foot in the game. Let's let's focus on this. Send me a copy of your bank statements. Okay. Here's the thing. Try not to have any overdrafts. You you, you gotta mm -hmm. manage manage your bank account. Mm -hmm. You know, try not to have any overdrafts. Uh, here's the money. You know, I tell them, save up two thousand, save up three thousand. This is for your out of pocket expenses. And then I started to talk to them about the programs and saying, okay, you, you can get this program if you can stay on this path. I need an, a driver's license or ID that's not expired, but because of COVID, <laughs> but, but we'll, we'll, I'll say this, because of COVID, you can have it you be, because of- And then some exemptions for it. Oh, for right now. For right now. Um, Social security card that's not crumbled up like somebody chewed it up. <laughs> if you can't read it, I can't read it. So you, you got to have the identifications. Uh, and you're going to need your driver's license to go to closing because they're going to ask you yes. for a driver's license or ID when you go to close yes. on your house. That's yes. the first thing they're going to ask you for you even sign anything. Yes. Your driver's license. You're going you to need that anyway. Yeah. Now, I got, now I'm going to add this. Now, th here's where we're going to rub some people wrong. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Now, Texas Tell is the a, truth. Yeah. Make it plain. Now, look. This, Texas is a community property state. I can't speak for the other states right now. We are a community property state. If you are legally married, oh Lord, go ahead. Your spouse has rights to your to that property, whether they're on the loan or not. True. And depending on if they got to do an FHA loan, I got to pull the spouse's credit. So whether you and Willie Earl, if y'all get along or not, and you you don't <laughs> want him on the loan, and you trying to get rid of him, you either Willie gonna have Earl's to not going yeah, he's going to have to come together. Get rid of him first. Cut, well. Either gonna either, come together, either you gonna come together, come together. That's a whole other radio. Come show. together or get that divorce. There is yeah. no in between, and so With for some, property. yes. Okay. Now the only way they can get around that, you are gonna have to go buy an investment property, put twenty percent down. Then you can say, I don't want Willie Earl on the loan because it's an investment property. Oh. But for primary residents, residents. Oh, no, they got rights. I didn't know that. Yeah. I learned something today. Yeah. So yeah. They, they have rights to it. So, but I don't have know. a Willie Earl in my life. So well, I'm hey, hey I'm, just, Lord. I'm just, just, you know, and they go for they go. Bertha May, yeah. if you and Bertha May ain't getting along, yeah, hey, you're going to have to figure this thing out or right. you, you got to, you know. But it's those are, the, those are the hard questions I have to ask. See, I'm. Yeah. But you, but they but people need that knowledge. A lot of people. Yeah. I mean, I didn't realize that you could have the investment property with the Willie May on your hand. But I mean, people yeah. need to have this knowledge. Yes. Well, investment, yeah, investment because you're, you're yeah. not, you're you're not. That's not your primary residence. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, you're not getting the government loan with it. Either. No, you're not getting the government okay. loan. It's a conventional yeah. loan. Okay. But but just to kind of ask you a question earlier, it's it's basic documentation that's needed. Now, once we review it. We may need to look at the tax returns also, especially if you're self-employed. But those are the basic things. Those are the things that I talk to clients about, and they're like, that's it. I'm like, yes, it's not hard. It's, But I need you to do it a certain way so I can get you the result that you want. Because okay. So in the buying process, I, I look at it as a music group, The Temptations. <laughs> okay. Andres, the realtor, that's, that's David Ruffin. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I'm oldest. Right. See, I'm in the background. I'm oldest. Okay. And then you have the other parts of the group. You got the title company. Mm -hmm. That's Eddie Kendrick. Okay. You know, you got the title inspection. company. You, yeah, you got your Prezo. inspection. You got your HOA. But see, I'm the one person in the group. Ain't nobody coming to see Otis, but they got to <laughs> deal with me. Right. So, is, you know, my, my goal is that I got to get everybody get in tune. They got to get them steps together. Got to get them steps together. But, you know, sometimes... You know, the rhythm is but, not but there. yeah, but you know, sometimes David, David gonna be like, "Well, ain't nobody coming to see you." Well, I'm like, but, "But you got to work with me. You got to work yeah. with me, so I can I can get us right where, 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 where we want to go. Where we want to go. Yeah. So this is uh, so tell us some, about some of the uh, loan programs we got. Um, what, which are the loan programs that you know basically that you use most of the time? So, okay, so the program for people who would like to take advantage of down payment assistance programs. Some people call them first time home buyer programs. You don't necessarily have to be a first time home buyer for some of these programs. And what is a first time home buyer considered? Anybody who has not owned a home within the last past three years. Okay. So that's the definition mm -hmm. of okay. it. There's four statewide programs that you can couple with a FHA loan or a conventional loan that will take care of the down payment for you and some of your closing costs. Okay. Uh, one of the programs is called Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. Uh, TDHEA. TDHEA. No, TDHEA. Oh, TDHEA, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, I hate acronyms, but it is what it is. But <laughs> uh, this program is a great program because you do a online home buyers education course. Um, you have now they will control the interest rate all the programs control the interest rate because they're giving you the money right so it, it's it's mm -hmm. that it's a it's, give and take it's a give and take it's what we call a string attack mm -hmm. i never it's not free money you know some people say it's free money no uh -huh. it's not mm -hmm. no no it's not but what they're doing is saying is i'll give you the money for the down payment as long as you live in the house and if you pay off the loan you ain't got to give me that money back with that program and they're going to be the mortgage servicer meaning that that's who you make your mortgage payments to. Okay. So it is a very good program. You can have a credit score as low as a 620 and take advantage of that program. Now, depending on where you want to live, Brazoria County, you can make up to like $106,000 a year and be eligible for this program. Wow. Now, for the rest of the county, you can get USDA there, right? In Brazoria? Parts. Depend, uh, parts. Okay. Parts. But that, that's, you know, USDA, that's a whole different ballgame. Yeah. We'll have to tackle that one another time. But... Well, you can tell yeah. us the, yeah. the I, qualifications for yeah, it, too. Yeah, I will. Now, the rest of your counties, Waller, Harris, Chambers, Montgomery, the surrounding counties surrounding Houston, you can make up to $90,620 annually and qualify for this program if you have... How much uh, is a family? Family of how many? Three, three or more. Three or more. Usually, okay. it's one or two, 78800 but I have different ways to be able to get you the result that you look for. Okay. But basically, I'm letting people know, especially, that's considered middle class money. Right. So, I'm letting middle class people know, hey, you, you can take advantage of this program and get your family into the home of choice, the, those school districts that you mm -hmm. really desire, right. in those suburbs or different places. Uh, you can get there because most of the time, people who make this type of money, you can afford the mortgage payment. It's just hard for you to save up for the down mm -hmm. payment. You got mm -hmm. kids, you got life, yeah. bills, just right. all those. So to ask someone to save up eight to ten thousand dollars, that can be that's, a challenge. That can be a challenge. Mm -hmm. But to have these program, have a program like this that will will give you that money to take care of that down payment is really good. Mm -hmm. You have another program, as you mentioned, that the uh, acronym they call it TSHAC. Uh, with that one, most of the time you hear about that, they always talk about first responders and educators. In actuality, that program is available to everyone. Yeah, mm. it's, it's available to everyone, and so and that loan is what the FHA loan. You can you, you you can couple it with the FHA loan or conventional. So that's why I say there there's there's a lot of options out there. The thing the key is, um, people need to talk to lenders like myself that we go and research these things so that mm -hmm. we can help people get what they want because uh, on my end it doesn't matter if you use your own money if you use this program there's, there's no preference on my part my goal is to help you just accomplish your goal so that program can do the same just like the first one and that's oh, called the texas department of that one please give 
I can't remember the acronym on that one because I, I just say it's so T Shack. But I'll say this: that particular program, the website is www. T S A H C dot org. Mm. O R G. T S. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. T D T S D H C. H A. No, no. T S A H C dot O R G. That is a website that realtors, buyers, and lenders can go to and actually look at the information. It has it there. It's, it's a public website. And you click on lenders and then click on today's interest rates. Mm -hmm. it, it tells you the, the basic thing. Hey, if you get this amount of money from us, 3%, 4%, mm -hmm. or 5%, here's what the interest rate is. Okay. okay. So okay. It, it, it gives you the everything you need. And with that program, they have a grant portion that you just have to live in the house six months. Then they have a second lien portion, meaning that you got to live in the house at least three years. Okay. If you live in the house at least three years, you don't have to pay the money back you got for the down payment. And then they can go on and refinance it. Yes, but right now the interest rate hundreds are so low. I mean, right. And not to say they can't get lower, but right now, if you look on that website or anywhere else, you got rates as low as two point seven five. Oh yeah. really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I got somebody now doing it. And they got a three point seven five for for down payment assistance. All depends on how much money they need for the transaction. Well, that's true. So, yeah. yeah. So okay. it comes down to what yeah. they need for the transaction. But in essence, I just want to put this message out here. This is one of the first times that I've seen in the industry, and I've been in the industry six years, that you've seen rates this low that people who have a six twenty credit score can get a rate this low. That rate two point seven five. Oh, okay, let's even just say 3.75. That was really for people who had excellent credit in the yeah. mid-7s, I know when I first started, people would get them in the fours, four and a half, even fives, you know, when I first started the business. Look, and over I, 10, almost 10 years ago. Well, well, well let, me t let me give you something even deeper. When I bought my house, my interest rate was 8%. Mm. Wow. So, you know, I'm looking at this, and now I'm talking to clients <laughs> like, yeah, back, yeah, even yeah. back in further than that. Yeah, yeah, even back yeah. when my father had been bought a house, yeah. they were they were doing 12, said, yeah, 13, 12, 12 13, 18, something yeah. like that. Exactly. So and you twenty percent down too. It was they rough. Didn't have no three yeah, yeah, look, it was, look, it was rough back then. Yeah. And so now I'm jumping on by saying like you cannot pass up right. this opportunity. You, right. you, you gotta it's, it's a, not gonna last. It's once in a lifetime ish. Yeah. yeah. Now it's, it's not gonna last. Now here's the third program. What it's called Seth Five Star. That you can uh, uh, uh program. Yeah. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. you have uh, buyers, they can go to that website. Mm -hmm. S E T H the number five star dot com. Mm -hmm. That program, now you have to have a credit score starting at a six forty, but same concept. And so basically what it comes down when clients talk to me, mm -hmm. I always have something for you. Right. See, there's never a time I just turn you around. If you're not ready, again, like I go back, if it's a not right now, I'm going to give you the plan to, right. so that you can get it, mm -hmm. you know, once you executed the plan. Seth Five Star, they, they give great rates also. Um, same concept with them. They have it for FHA, conventional, VA, uh, USDA. So there, there's options there. And then you have Seth Gold Star. Now that one is not a public website, yeah. but same concept. Um, so I have the programs to help people become homeowners, that, to right. get them to that next step, get out of renting mm -hmm. and getting into a home. Yeah. And now this will be my advice I would give to some buyers because sometimes they can get a little bit into their feelings. <laughs> they, well, it's because when they see they have a chance to buy a home, now they're trying to get their dream home. I want five bedrooms, <laughs> 3,500 <laughs> square your slow home. Down, slow two acres with a slow, slow your slow home. Down. Right. This is your first home. It's not your forever home. This is your first home. Just get in something for now. Right. Just get in something. So you can you always know. sell it later. You're always going, and then you build an equity. equity. Yes. Right. You know, you take that money and go buy your dream home with it. You know, and that way you don't even have to come out of pocket that with that much. Yes. You know, you don't have to save as much because you already got an automatic savings account put away every time you make your mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. So let, let me add on to that. So this is the, the analogy I usually give them. Just get your foot in, get something to start with. Yeah. Mainly the mortgage payment that's affordable so that you won't be house poor. 
Don't right. push yourself. Right. Get you something that's within the that budget. Start from there. Live in the house four or five years. Mm-hmm. Sell it. Go to Arnold's when you're ready to sell it. He's gonna get you the right. the profit. That's because right. here's the thing. Homes appreciate. Yeah. Especially in this market. Yeah. I'll give an example. Right in well, some will say sunny side, but it's now Texas Medical Center South. In 2017, you had builders out there, smaller builders that were building crazy three right. bedroom, two oh, bath homes goodness. for 165,000. This is we're talking four years ago. Right. And what are they unders, now? Unders, what is What's the price the now? now? Oh, they're around 200,000. Right? They're around so if you, would, if you would have gotten in there in 2017, you would have about 35,000 $35, worth of right. equity, right? And there's some I have one client that just just had an agreed offer found a home out there in texas medical center south the price was 249 mm-hmm. and so just think about this now it was a brand home home that was built but just think from 2017 till now you're looking at oh my god what a what eighty five thousand dollar difference in just a, in in price four years now, right in right. a four that, year that's, time that's a, that's, that's Kind of and you got to think about it too they're still building they're out still, there they so they the more are. they build in that area the, the more the prices house. keep going up in the house mm-hmm. so you know so you need to slide in while you can and you slide in because if not you we don't want people to get left behind mm-hmm. but we got to put this message out there that look the market is going up it is not going to wait on you find you something we're here to help find you something so that you can stop paying rent Here's the thing and stop paying it. someone else's mortgage. Pay yes. mortgage. Making somebody else rich. Right. Yes, right. And for some, for some, you know, having a conversation, they're like, well, why? Well, why should I buy? And so one particular gentleman, I asked him a question. I said, okay, let me ask you a question. How long do you plan on living? So he, he got a little bit asked me, what do you mean? I said, how long do you plan on living? He said, man, I plan on living a long time. I said, okay, throw a number, 75, 80? Yeah, 80. I said, if you don't own a home at 80 years old, you're not going to be able to afford rent. You, you're retired no. and you won't be able to, Social Security will not be able to mm-hmm. handle no. rent. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. It, it won't no. be able to handle rent. If you look now, okay, I'm, you, we're both from Houston. You remember in the 90s where you could get your apartment, you could get a three bedroom apartment. That might have been. Six fifty seven hundred In the 90s. In the 90s. But, you could have right. rent, rented a house. For about a grand, Correct. a nice house, a very nice. So now, look at past post harvest. Now you can't find one. Post harvest. Mm-hmm. Now you want a three bedroom. See, now I'm gonna get country fifteen hundred. <laughs> and that's decent. That's not even great. That's, that's decent. Right. decent. Right. Right. Yeah. And so, think of it from this aspect. Think Where of it as fifteen hundred dollars a month on a home on a home mm-hmm. that you buy. Right. Right now, with the interest rates the way they are. You could probably get close to about two hundred thousand dollars. That is correct. So but a lot of yeah. time people are they're they're spending just about the same money in rent. They are, and that's the reason why we're telling them it's the same amount, this. or sometimes even less in some cases as a mortgage payment. So yes. why not, you know, invest? I got a I got a guy a townhouse. Me and you close. Yeah, townhouse for one, well, one 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 thirty two one thirty one thirty two. And his mortgage is what uh it's under about a thousand dollars it was 967 it was it was under a thousand yeah not 967 a a month yeah it was under a thousand so you know we 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 want people to take take advantage of these opportunities because we don't know when we're going to see interest rates like this again right that's Uh, right yeah 2016 and 17 right it was considered decent to get four and a half percent yeah and some of the down payment assistance programs the interest rate was five they didn't even go down this with all during the recession. Yes. When they had the recession mm-hmm. in 2008, 2009, yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't go down this low even then. Yes. You know? So, yeah. You, and you, that's because the government dropped all the, the interest rates, <clears throat> the benchmark rate all the way down to zero. Okay. So, the, the, so for the zero, that's more for banking to banking. Right. The lending on that part. But I, I'm not going to say that you won't see anything lower than this, but I wouldn't push my luck. Right. Yeah. I, I, you, it's, it won't be anytime soon. I mean, it's, to be able to come to someone and that says, if they say, name of my credit score is 640, and I say, you know what? I can get you a 2.75 interest rate. Now, what was the interest rates pre-pandemic? 
Fours. For the same credit score. You were in the four. Exactly. You, you, you was in the four. And the only reason this really happened because of a crisis that we had. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So you go wait around for another crisis right. to happen. It could be another. No, but yeah, but we don't. Six, seven, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, yeah. seven eight, nine, yeah. ten years. Yeah. You know. Sometimes, sometimes good. Right. Sometimes good things come out of crisis. Yeah, yeah, but you don't know when it's going again. Correct. And you don't want to. You, you, you don't want to yeah. wait. You want to yeah. take advantage when you start to look at even with your production builders. They are no longer building in the 150s, 160s. The, the starting point with some of these builders are just attitude. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, we don't want people to get priced out. Yeah. Right. We, uh, we want them to be able to get in. The community and Texas can't help but get better by having more homeowners. Right. Yeah. The more homeowners you have, the more people you have paying property taxes, school taxes, mm -hmm. all those different things. Mm -hmm. The more stable people are. Yes. Right. The less likely your kids getting the. You, you give know, your children a great. Get any you know, get into any you know type of trouble or don't you know it's, it, you because the, the it's hard to keep blessings. moving them around every right. year, bouncing them to new right. places all the time. Families know? need stability. stability yeah. Absolutely. They need stability. The moving around thing. I mean, I get it. It happens, but. Now, mm -hmm. families need stability. Yeah. These children need a, a, a one, one school district that they can stick with, get what they need. Friends on their block. Yes. You know, all that good yes. stuff, you know. Tell us some uh, documentation they're going to need. What kind of documentation you going to ask for oh, when they apply? Very, very basic documentation. Driver's license, social security card, uh, pay stubs. If you get paid weekly, five, five pay stubs. If you get paid twice a month, two pay stubs. Um, last two months of your bank statements, uh, uh, tax returns. Th these are your basics. Last two years, right? Back tax returns? Two years, yes. Okay. Sometimes sometimes three, depending on the program, may need three. The okay. three is just basically to see, did you did you own a house in between uh, that mm -hmm. time frame? Mm -hmm. The other thing is, if you're self-employed, we got to look at what your write-offs are. But How long um, before bankruptcy, after bankruptcy? Depending or on the foreclosure. Program. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Depending on the programs. Now, FHA, usually a bankruptcy a year. Uh, depends. Now, you got different bankruptcies out there. You got Chapter 7, you got Chapter 13. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the, the greatest thing is if a person does go through something like that, hopefully they were able to rebound mm -hmm. and learn because uh, I actually went through a bankruptcy years ago before mm -hmm. I got into this industry. I'm not going to say uh, that was the best thing to happen for me, but it woke, it woke me up because to be able I had to. I a long time ago mm -hmm. before I moved to, uh, to Houston. Yeah. Because they, 13. Yes. And they make you take a money management class yeah. to to pass. And to pay, that, to pay yeah. that monthly payment every month. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, um, it, that was a while. That was about 25, 25 years ago. But yeah, it, it yeah. did shake you up. And that thing lasts on your credit for 10 years, too. Well, I think okay. you stay on your credit seven years or ten years, one of them. Well, well, here's the thing: from a mortgage standpoint, it being on your credit seven years or ten years, that doesn't stop you. We're still, yeah, we can still no, help no, you. they know. We can still help you. You gotta explain some things that you may have to write a letter to explain what happened. Yeah, uh, or to to get past that point. But it's to it's to get a mortgage is not hard. The key is is perception. They have to believe. And understand that I'm I'm here to help them, yeah. not to stop them. I'm here to put my arms around them, mm -hmm. hold them, and you're, say you're their advocate. Yes, I'm their advocate you're not to the say enemy. I'm not the enemy. I'm mm -hmm. not the adversary. I'm here to help you so that I can get this thing put together so we can mm -hmm. get it to the underwriter so the underwriter can say yes. And so once because transparency is key, mm -hmm. people sometimes sure. fear talking to the lender. Now, they gonna tell the realtor, <laughs> I'll make the money. I got it. Okay, cool. Now, when they say, you gotta talk to the lender. What? Yeah, you gotta talk to <laughs> You gotta prove it. Now you gotta prove it. You gotta prove it. Everything that you tell me. Your word is you, good, but you, you still have get, to prove it. I gotta verify. Right. Your you word verify. is good. Yeah. I'm not calling you a liar. I think, I really do believe you make the money, but it's gotta be verified a And I like way. to tell people too, you know, it, if you were to borrow somebody two hundred thousand dollars, aren't you going to verify that they can pay this money back to you? I mean, don't you ain't going to just go off their word that says 
you know, yeah, I'm gonna give it back to you. You know, I got the money to do it. You know, I make this much money a month. You know, you want to know yes. for sure. You want some I'm gonna get this money back, or at least you know that you got the income to support giving it back to me, not just give my word that I'm gonna do it. Well, okay, so let me add on that. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why some people may have came to us that way. The mortgage, uh, the mortgage industry, and the car industry are totally, totally different. different yeah. So most people have bought multiple cars. You can step on in that car dealership, let them pull your credit, show them a check stub, give them your down payment. You can roll off the lot. So from that experience, they're thinking, well, I should be able to just do the same. You can roll out my house, right? When the mortgage industry, <laughs> no, nah, baby, it's a little bit different. <laughs> it's a little bit we different. We need a little bit more. Yeah, because you, you're asking for a quarter million dollars. You're asking right. for $300,000. That investor, they just need to make sure that it, everything lines up. The key to mortgages is your ability to repay. That is all they're looking at, your ability to repay. Looking at your income, mm -hmm. your debts that you currently have going out, how much you got coming in. If the numbers look right, you can get the yes. Because they don't want your house. No, they don't. They don't want, want your house. They don't want it. They don't they want, want your house money. back. They want your interest. They want the money, right? They want, they want the, the interest on the house. So yeah. they they would want you to keep it. That's why mortgage companies are so willing to work with you to keep the house. They they don't yes. want your house back. Correct. Yeah, because you know? it's more of a headache for them. Well, well they, 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 they don't make any money. They don't make, they don't make any money. Right. If they foreclose and they get less money for it, mm -hmm. then they lose it on the VA too because they would have gotten. Three hundred thousand on a two hundred thousand dollar house. Now they only gonna get one hundred sixty thousand. Well, they, they get a little more than that. Well, you know, I'm just yeah, that yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They get a little more than that. I think it's they, like double almost. Well, honestly, but you know what? On your closing disclosure, it actually will tell you. It will actually I tell know. you mm -hmm. if you pay just the more the minimum payment. This it's is how what much you're gonna how much end up paying the whole yeah. thirty years. Yeah. yeah, and so just to give some information for people that this is all new to them. Uh, yeah. It's a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. So it's 360 payments. Now here's the difference with a, a more a mortgage payment versus renting. See when you're renting, it's due on the first, late on the third, and you're gonna have to pack your bags on the fifth. <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, they're gonna have a little note for you on the door. Yeah. And then Well, you got you got well yeah, we yeah. can go on to all that later, but yeah. it got a little more time than that. But yeah. But yeah. I know what so, you're saying. But with a mortgage, you actually have a little bit more time. Yes, it's due on the first, but it's not considered late. You don't late. you don't get a you don't get a late fee until the sixteenth. Mm -hmm. But you don't now the thirty day late pay is where that's the, the that's the that's that's the mm -hmm. card that's the cardinal sin. Red, you don't, that's the you red flag. Don't, yeah, you don't want to get to that point. But it's just to know that you got all the way up to twenty nine days mm -hmm. to get that payment in. That gives a, a lot of uh, flexibility, flexibility right. yeah. because mm -hmm. some people they do need they, they want to split they check right you know take one check pay half take the other check mm -hmm. pay the other half that's fine that's where it goes back to and actually it'll pay your mortgage down quicker paying bi-weekly that it is the payment you splitting the payment mm -hmm. there's there's different ways of, of definitely doing it but uh not a but that is correct so we just want, I want to give some of the basics to the clients. It's 30 year fixed rate mortgage. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one of the reasons why you want to get uh, a mortgage versus renting. Here's the other thing about renting. That landlord controls your destiny. Mm -hmm. He basically, he or she basically will determine how long you can live there and for what amount. Because if they decide they want to raise the rent up, what are you going to do? You know, you, you got two choices, pay it, pay or, it or, or get out. Or you got to get out. Yeah. Now, when you have a mortgage, it's a fixed rate mortgage. So mm -hmm. your principal and interest. Rent, rents go up around 5% a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty, on average, they go up around 5% a year. So at least year. when you're a homeowner, you have the stability as far as your, your mortgage, your monthly payment. Yes. I mean, and that, for me personally, I mean, that's good with my budgeting. Because yes. I know that is not going to change. Now, other things can change your the light bill, you, you know, your water yes. bill, but I know for certain I'm paying this certain amount each month. I know Absolutely. how to work around that. Absolutely. I got a question. Yeah. Somebody got a question. They said, 
if I have an FHA loan and I utilize neighborhood lift with a five year second lien by the program for down payment assistance and closing cost assistance, can I refinance to take advantage of the low interest rates in response to COVID? First thing, thank you for, for listening and asking the question. Now the lift program, I currently, I'm not a part of the lift program. I'm going to give some general information. Now, the first thing I would say is the lender that you use to get your home should always be available to you even after you close on the loan. That you should be able to ask them this question. It is in the paperwork. Now, if this program works similar to the other down payment assistance program where it's a second lien, if you have not fulfilled the five years and you want to refinance, they're gonna add that money back into into your payoff. Okay. Uh, so they're gonna add so to give an example, you bought the house for one fifty and the money you got from the program was five thousand dollars. So within a two year time frame, you say, oh, man, I wanna refinance, I wanna get this low rate. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say your payoff was one one forty five. Well, you still have that five thousand from Lyft. Mm -hmm. They're going to add that back into your payoff for oh, okay. uh, in, in order to do your refinance so depending on how much equity you have in your home you might be able to do it you might be able to do it so you can take advantage of the race especially if let's say at the time when you purchased if he was in, if that person was in the fours or fives you at least want to research it it doesn't hurt to research it yeah. you either can mm -hmm. contact that lender or if you want to reach out to me 832-956-6000 I'll, I'll be glad to have a What's conversation with you my website is my name, www.damon.com. Damon. Oh, <laughs> Not Damien. Damon. 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 No why. I'm, I'm getting that right. Yeah, that's I'm it. No, that problem, right. Man, no problem. No <laughs> problem. And uh, tell them the, the difference between a pre qualification and a pre approval. What's the difference? Okay. So, with pre qualification, which I don't, I don't do, um, you may have a buyer who calls a lender and says, Hey, my credit score is a 750. I make $80,000 a year. I want you to give me a pre-qualification. Uh, I'm not ready for you to pull my credit. Well, you know, they, get, they go to like Rocket Mortgage, Quicken Loans, all these, you know, they give you pre-qual. So they, tell they, them what they, the difference is between you giving them a pre-approval and them getting a pre-qual with them. Correct. So the difference with me is even after you do the application, we're going to have a consultation because I don't expect a client to understand what their income is. All they know is, man, I make $60,000. That's what I got coming in every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. well, well, let's talk about that a little bit. Tell me about your profession. Tell me about you. Well, I'm a truck driver. You know, I, I, I haul loads from what from each coast. Okay. How does, how does your employer pay you? Are you self-employed or are you W-2? I'm self-employed. Okay. Well, before I give this pre-approval letter out, because I want to make sure you have a great experience because you got monies that will be tied up into the mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and send me your tax return so I can verify your income, so I can make sure when you do this, we don't want you to get excited and you get you get that taste in your mouth. I want this house that's 275 mm -hmm. because I make this amount of money. Right. But after I look at your write-offs and deductions, it might be, you know what, sir? This is what's going on. This is what you reported. This is what your income is. So mm -hmm. your buying power actually is 225. And so we want to get that established. The transparency as well. The transparency right. because they don't know. They, right. they don't know. They just know what they want. So we want to make sure, especially when we work with great realtors like Andre and others, <laughs> that when we get that pre-approval to them, they want to make sure everything is verified yeah. because see, his name is at stake because he's going to the listing agent fighting on behalf of this this buyer mm -hmm. and we need to make sure things are in order oh and by the way uh, buyers that listing agent is going to call me when when you see, <laughs> submit an offer yeah they're, they're they going do. to call me yeah they do because they want to know hey, is this docs, legit is this legit <laughs> is there a good buyer yeah. they and their docs and that uh, been verified i gotta be able to answer that question i'm not lying for you i, I want them to call you yeah, I got to be able to say, no, I verified everything. But yeah, when they go to Rocket or a different organization, I don't necessarily want to say their name. It's just a different experience. Some companies are a call center. So you don't know who you're getting on there. Mm -hmm. And if they're not in Texas, they may not understand the laws, the laws of the state. Applicable to Texas. Applicable to Texas? Mm -hmm. 
property, they don't understand the property taxes out here, everything. They may be doing it based on Ohio, mm -hmm. different things like that. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure, you know, you talk to somebody local, or if you want to come into my office, bring your mask, but come on in. Mm -hmm. Sit. Let's sit down. Let's have a conversation. Bring your documents in. Some, everybody doesn't trust technology. Come in. Let me look at it. And that way, I'm meet them someplace thing. also. We do that too. Unfortunately, because I am so busy, I can't. Because I have so many calls, I have so many clients. I, I, I got some Uh But I will do Zoom. If you don't want to come to the office, I'll do Zoom. You can look at this. This pretty right. face. I, I, I'll do Zoom. All right, David. Yeah. But yes, it, it is very important that the, the difference is I'm going to make sure when I put this pre approval in hand, your credit report's been verified. We, we verified your assets, your, your pay, to make sure when you get out there that you can get the result that you want. Because if not, if you go. If you tell Andres or any other realtor that, no, I want to use a certain lender that I found online, and here's a pre-approval letter, technically the realtor cannot stop you. They, right. they, got, they got to go with it. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Once you go look at that house and you decide to make that offer, now you got to pull that change out your pocket. See, you got to pay that earnest money deposit. Yep. Mm -hmm. You got to pay that option fee. You're putting this money down. And so... If you don't have your things in order, it it's money's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Right. It slows oh, the yeah. process Absolutely. down. Yeah. It, slows, it slows it down. And, it, so, and it's gonna, you know, cause a lot of confusion. And then if you really get the money, then you know, if you really want the house, you got the seller gonna be nervous now because you're not, you're not doing things in a timely manner exactly. and stuff like that. So, so well, you, you know. can help with them become legitimate. Yes. Well, the, the whole thing is, if it's not handled right, you know. Some people are control freaks. I want to do it my way. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not that we don't want you to do it your way, but allow us to be the professionals and help you with let this. The do let the experts do what they're good at. Yeah, what we're good at because here's mm -hmm. the thing. There are certain monies, once you spend it in this process, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's done. Mm -hmm. When you get an appraisal inspection done, that tells you that right house. No. Those are not cheap. Not cheap. $600. Yes. Yeah. A home inspection, when you get that right. done, it's done. That option period, period and that's whether you get the house or not whether you get it whether you so get you it or not you gotta be careful you gotta, you gotta yes. choose wisely well you know he's gonna help you to mm -hmm. kind of go through the home inspection to, to right. let you know what's normal wear and tear and what's an right. issue but the main thing on our end we want to make sure before you get to that point you got things in order because if you don't see most people think the mortgage industry is like walmart i'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an example see in walmart you can go buy a tv Keep it for four months, come back and say, it ain't working. <laughs> and you can fuss, holler, scream, harden up. Right. Guess what? That manager will be like, okay, you can go and return it. Not the mortgage industry. See, once you get to the return receipt where you can mm -hmm. just bring the house back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm talking about even to, you haven't even gotten to the point of the Can't house. Can't give it back. I, right. I'm talking about just, if you didn't handle it right, because you're just in such a rush, you didn't pay your option period fee. That could be two hundred dollars. You didn't pay your home inspection, about four fifty. You didn't pay your appraisal inspection, six seven hundred dollars. That could be about fifteen hundred dollars gone. Oh no, right. Gone. Now we didn't even talk about the earnest money deposit, which the seller is going to require you right. to put down. Mm -hmm. I only have a certain amount of time to guarantee your finances, so you got to work with me. Right. You know. 21 days normally. Yeah, you got normal, to work with me. Normal if cases not, is 21 days. The seller, because he took his house, that he or she took his house off of the, the market, market, they, and they might have a mortgage, uh, or they passed up a, another potential buyer, they, they have a right, right to take that money. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't want that person to have a bad experience in this. We're just saying, mm -hmm. Allow us to help you and follow the yeah. steps. Yeah, just allow us to help yeah. you and follow the steps. We're we're not here to slow you down. We're here to make this thing a great experience for you. It's and and let me tell you, and let me, and let me add, add this in because I think this has got to be said too. I don't make no money from you. You don't pay me ten cent to do nothing for you. Not a buyer, mm -hmm. right? You ain't paying you to do nothing. You know, well, they got the the rent, rent, no, 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 not the my directly. Oh yeah, no, give you no money. Yeah. So there's no benefit for me for you to lose out or you to no. get a bad deal mm -hmm. or for you to, you know, 
lose your money because you're not paying me anything anyway. You know, yeah. it, would, it would benefit me to, for you to finish. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, we don't eat. Right. Exactly. It's so it's not, it's not something that, you know, I just don't like people thinking that, you know, I'm making money from them and, you know, I'm just giving them anything. Just, yeah. you know, it's, if you don't get the deal you need or get the deal you want or get the house you want, then there's no benefit for it's me to go around yeah. showing yeah. you it's homes loose, all over the right. city and you, you know, yeah. pick one and all of a sudden now you don't finish it, you know? Absolutely. So, I mean, absolutely. We, you know, and no, it's, and it's not just the money. I mean, it's the time and effort that goes into it because I'm sure, you know, with your clients, you know, bringing the documentation that the chewed up, you know, as we get older, card, you know? Yeah, but well, you know, yeah. as we get older, we know our most valuable asset is our time. Right, is our is our time. Absolutely. And we'll go, we're gonna add the money in there too. I still got bills to pay. Hello. So yeah, I, Hello. I, I, right. I, I need this thing to go through. Right. Uh, but you know, we want the person to have a great experience because here it is. If you have a great experience, you're gonna send us a referral. Mm -hmm. So we're a referral based business. Mm -hmm. And then our integrity and our, our reputation is on the line. So right. for Andre, realtors like Andres, lenders like myself, our reputation does matter. They because mm -hmm. the, the buyer Word and the, yeah, the, the buyer and the, the realtor need to know can you right. get this thing done? Right. Do you have a reputation of getting this thing done? Yes. Right. Have I had to I've held some people's <laughs> hand. I carried some people. Right. I had to drag some people to the finish line. <laughs> but I got them there. By any means. I'm getting old now. Right. I don't know if I can drag them anymore. I, I don't know. I'm still that, that take, that, that take a lot. I, I, you know, because it's if you have to drag them to the finish line, they get the the outcome they want, but in their mind, you you didn't do it the way they wanted to do it. So it, was, it was okay. It, it was, was okay. And even though you got them, they, they were able to make the biggest purchase in their life. So that's, good. that's a huge investment. Yes. So we, you know, we just want to, but hopefully uh, even those people who, who thought the process, mm, it was, eh, it was okay. Maybe with the knowledge that she had given them, maybe down the road, the light bulb will go off and say, you know what, just like you all were talking about that building equity and, you know, you don't have to pay someone else's mortgage and mm -hmm. this is something you can do. You can paint the walls with whatever colors you can, you know, you can decorate it. You can do whatever you want. Maybe that light bulb will, will hopefully go off if they, if they did, hopefully it will. So it's all about their personality and mindset to answer your question. Yes. And no, I want to give you an example. Okay. Literally last week, um, another great realtor, Brian Hill, we uh, we had a client. The client started with me. They went to the builder. You know, the builder did the little spill. You use our lender. We're gonna give you some extra. We're gonna give. You, we're gonna cover the closing costs. We're gonna do all of it. Yeah. And it sounded so good. They bailed on me. <laughs> I'm gone, baby. <laughs> Like, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I yeah, didn't do that. yeah, yeah, but no, I, I, <laughs> I have know, to do what they want. Yeah, I got, I got to get it. I said, okay, okay. Unfortunately, that lender didn't give them the type of communication that they needed, mm -hmm. uh, and they couldn't get the loan done. The loan got declined. They had to come back to me. Oh, so no, no, but I'm okay with it. You know, hey, it happens. You got to come back. You know, it's it's, it's their choice. Not, yeah, it's their choice. It's their choice. You know, you can use whatever you want to. Yeah, because, because, nice. I mean, I'll do it too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. I like the, the second opportunity, so no problem. So They must have thought of something of me and yeah. come back. So, yeah. you know. That's true. So with this particular client, they did have a unique file, but I knew how to structure it to get them the results that they want. The, the wife had something on her credit report that she felt like wasn't right. Um, it, was, it was, you know, quite a few late pays on something that was paid off. Well, it was affecting the loan, but I had a solution of how to get it taken care of. We just needed to do a letter of explanation. Yeah. But she was just fighting me and my assistant on it. She didn't, well, I feel like I shouldn't have to write the letter. I feel like, you know, I feel like it's wrong. I said, well, here's the thing. If you want to fight it, this is not the time to buy a house. You can't do it in the middle of buying a house, but because you know, you and husband found, have found a great home and got a great deal, 
you got to look at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. I'll help you write the letter. I just need to ask you some questions that yeah. will wow. help. We'll help you write the letter to, you know, because she's explaining it to me. Well, I got that long close form. I want to give you some perspective. I got them a lower interest rate, 2.75. They were originally supposed to put twenty-five thousand down. I got it to where they only had to put nineteen thousand down. We still was able to work with the builder and get their closing costs covered. Hmm. But when I got my survey, my survey wasn't, wasn't you know five is usually great. Mm -hmm. I got a three. What? Now and and, and they said for experience, and it was like, oh, my experience was a zero. I was wow. like, what? So I had to, I called Jump the husband. Jump through hoops and make yeah, right. I, I, yeah, I, mean, called, I called the husband. I said, hey, I, I got this survey from your wife. And he said, you know, she just, you know, he said, Damon, he said, you know, I appreciate everything. You got me what I needed. Everything would happen. He said, you know, my wife, she was just, she just was, she just didn't like that. She had to do the letter and what was on her credit report. And I said, well, oh, you know, there. and I said, well, there. you know, that was out of my control, but I said, but if you think about it, you know, you do acknowledge you had to, you had to go through some hoops. I mean, you want to access the $355,000. You, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You, I get it. You know, she didn't like what was reported on credit report, number one. You didn't I, put it there. I didn't put it there, right. but I got you. You didn't even I, ask for the letter. That's underwriting. Well, it was, well, no, 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 right. That's but see, that's that's how I had to get this thing handled. Is that I explained to her to get to your goal. This is what I need from you. But she was, you know, sometimes people she get tired. They they, 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 was they, will, they get stuck in their emotions and not be able to see the bigger picture. Right. And or maybe even, she just didn't want to explain all that. You know. The, it, okay. The yeah. And, and, yeah. And for it. some people, it's hard to explain their circumstances and what happened because it's no. They don't want to relive all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. They don't want to relive it. It's, it's no judgment. I'm not here yeah. to judge them. I'm just like, look. If you can but the bigger this, picture. Yeah. Here's the bigger, the bigger picture. picture. Right. The bigger picture is I'm trying to get you access to this money so you can get your dream home. And I got them there. And but kind of to line up what you're saying, you know, for me, it was like. The husband was like, well, he said, I'm happy. He said, I'll be willing, you know, he said, I'll do a survey for you. Please. Because you know, <laughs> you yeah, yeah, you you know you're telling three. my company, you're telling me and my company and my peers. Did you right. do you do you do you do you do and I'm like, well, did you remember that the first lender couldn't even get you approved? And it happens. Yeah. Builders, they give you all these incentives to go to you know, to use their lender, but some of them can't qualify you because their qualifications are a lot higher, like stricter, a lot stricter mm -hmm. and everything. So uh, many times if you go through their builder's lender and they have incentives and they can't qualify you, many of them will give you the incentives and go to an outside lender if you go to an outside lender because their builder could, their lender couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, and that's, and actually, the outside lender may give you a better interest rate than the than the builder's lender too, you know, in some cases. So, uh, let me add on to that. Uh, uh, so I want to give the perspective because we got a lot of people who they they don't know what we know about this industry. We yeah. we've been in the game. We understand it. There's there's no heat, no judgment. The way I approach everything is that I'm going to present this to you just factual information. You decide what you want to do because I can't. I can't fault anyone and say like, man, I got to look at those incentives that they offer. I yeah. get it. Mm -hmm. But the experience that you get with me, especially when you're saying like, Damon, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. I'm trying to get this for my family. You need a lender that's going to hold your hand through the process to get you there. Yeah. Now, here's the thing about the builder's lender. And I know a few. You need some, one that's going to communicate with some, you too. Some that are good and some that need a little work. But here's here's the reality. Some of those builders lender are dealing with four to five hundred clients a month. Mm -hmm. They don't have time to talk to you and explain mm -hmm. anything. Their attitude is, "You want this? I'm gonna send you a That's quick email." Ones? Yeah, I'm gonna send you a quick they got, email. They're send nationwide. Me. They just don't do yeah. Houston. You know yeah, I mean? they they just they send an email. Yeah. Send me mm -hmm. A through F, and you like, I don't know what this is. Can you help me? Right. They don't have time. You might talk to them today. This is Friday. They may not be able to get back with you until two Thursdays from now. 
So you're definitely going to have the, the personalized one-to-one Absolutely. approach that's, that's, where, like you said, you sit down and take the time to uh, provide the knowledge and awareness that they need so that yes. there are no m- missteps or, you know, misconceptions. Well, he exactly. he's, he's has more ability to communicate with you right. than you call him. He can answer or text. He can reply. You know, whereas a builder, a lot of times they're on voicemail. It, it's hard to pick them lenders up mm-hmm. on the phone. You know, and you may not get an answer back to a day or two later, and they may forget about your action sometimes. You know, because they're just so busy at times they forget even to even go back and they, you know, on their voicemail or their email, well, it, it, or they want you to email them or, everything, and then that gets yeah. lost. With them, you know, well, you know, like, I mean, yeah. and, and to, I mean, for me personally, that would make a difference. I, I'd rather be local with someone like you as opposed to someone who's dealing with folks all over the nation or whatever. I, I would want that more, you know, personal, you know, one-to-one interaction. Would you, would you like a first-class experience? Absolutely. Okay, so you want to look at it from this perspective. Right. They want to know. This is what David did. I'm going to give you a first class experience because you're making the biggest purchase in your life. That means you mm-hmm. need a little bit more time. You need a little more hand holding. Mm-hmm. You need a little bit more information. I can give you that. Sometimes going the other route because you may see an incentive, you may not get that type of experience. Right. You might reach a goal. You might not reach a goal. With me, we're going to really put, put this thing together mm-hmm. uh, to get you there. So. It's all about... And it's customized. It's not just a, a prescribed plan that no, you give to everybody. Customized. Yeah, it's, 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 it's customized because credit reports are like DNA, one of a kind. Mm-hmm. Even though well, my sister, she's a 720, and she was able to get this. I, I get that, that her score was 720 and yours is 700. But sometimes it's about what's on their credit Dynam- report. Yeah, exactly. It's about the dynamics. Mm-hmm. What, what's on that credit report is going to determine mm-hmm. purchase power, everything else. So... Uh, you know, it's a uh, th- those those situations require a, a conversation. Absolutely, it, it requires a, a conversation. And, and look, and, and Andres can, can can relate to this yeah. where you have <laughs> you have your buyers. Well, my mama said, you know, <laughs> when she bought a house, you know, she years got years this, this, right. and this. Yeah. I get it. But mama bought in '85. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Things have changed, and I get it. That it, 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 it's it no heat. Here. It's right. no heat, no judgment, because I get it from the buyer's perspective. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want an, an unbiased opinion, someone that they can trust, that they know. They say, "Mama loves me. She will gonna make sure right. everything's right." So I get it. You, you want mom's confirmation. I want to give an analogy to you. I'm, I'm full of analogy. So when I was a, I was in my twenties. I was really sick. I think it was pneumonia or something. I was really, really sick. Now, my big mama, that's my great grandmother, loved me to death, down the street from me. Big mama said, you, oh, I got something for you that'll, that'll get you right. Take these three drops of turpentine. Mm. That should Ooh. clear it up. Mm. <laughs> now, that's a clear morning. <laughs> well, now, now here's the thing. I know big mama has the right, she, her, she has the right intention. She loved and she wouldn't bring no harm to mm-hmm. me. But in, a, but in this situation, I think I need to go to a licensed doctor <laughs> right. to, to help me because, you know, turpentine strips paint off the wall. Exactly. Off now, trees, everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, the, but when she had it, it might have been something different back then. And the reason why I give that analogy is that you, you have people who want to buy houses and they talk to everybody beside out besides a realtor and a lender and it seems like everyone else knows our job they know it better than we do and so to get the results that you want you need to talk with the people who are in the profession right and that uh deal with it on an everyday basis because i get it mom mom did buy a house in 85 and back then she didn't have to escrow her property taxes yeah. and insurance yeah. So when I come to that person, I tell them, you know what? You're right. Ethel May, she, Ethel May is right. You, she didn't, but that information is outdated. Mm-hmm. Right. Now you do have to escrow mm-hmm. your property tax and insurance in your payment. So it's all about how you approach the situation. And I tell them saying like, look, I know you really, you really lean on mama or daddy or whoever to help you. 
Have them give me a call. Put them on three-way. Let me answer their questions right. oh, that's with good. you so that they can give you that, that thumbs up, move forward. Because okay. the information that they're giving, it is correct. It's outdated. Dated. So okay. it's confusing the the buyer. I'm telling them to go left. Mama say go right. Right, right now, who do you think she's going to listen to first? <laughs> you I'm going to listen to mama. mama. Right. So right. We, we sometimes we got to do a family thing and say, okay, the people that you rely on to help you, if you don't mind them knowing your personal business, but your credit report, your, in, your mm -hmm. income and everything, then let's do a conference call. That way I can answer their questions also and update them. And educate what's them as educate well. Educate them right. on what's right. going on now to say, mm -hmm. yes, you're right. It When you did it, it was that way. In 2021, One, it is now different. Because they're quick to tell the realtor, oh no. That house shouldn't be one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> when I bought a house that size, it was only seventy five. Mm. Yes, you are thirty five years ago. That was thirty five <laughs> years ago. You were correct, but now yeah. that house is this right. amount. Cause they're quick to say, yeah, two hundred thousand dollars. That house should be four thousand square feet. Mm. And now just got a. He's he's up here. He's like, no, you can't get a. You know. Mm -hmm. You probably gonna get about fourteen hundred square feet for this amount, mm -hmm. but it's you know to get this right. thing going. It's like okay, let's, you have to get, bring them into the twenty. You got yeah, you got to bring everybody yeah. into it because mm -hmm. it, because it's their lived reality. Right. It's, when they did it, this is what it was. But sometimes they forget that things change, change over right. time. In inflation. Right. And inflation. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's and what Houston. it's called, inflation. Oh, oh well, look. Yeah. When I bought my house in 2005, it was an 1800 square foot house, three bedroom, two bath, with formals, having a, you know, a decent a halfway decent sized backyard. That was 108,000. That same size house now no, it's is not, not going to be 108,000. So, and it's a good thing. Cause you want their appreciation. Yeah, right? you want their. You want it to keep yeah. going. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you know, but but, but see, you can't make them realize that when they're trying to buy though. Well, that's again because sometimes we do have to ask the question, the hard question. They say, "What should be like this?" Okay, great. May I ask where you got that information from? Yeah. Where did you get your turf of time from? Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Look. Look. You tell. You heard what I said. I was like, so this oh, I, mean, I, love, I love you, but yeah, I'm going to the doctor. not going to give you the turf of time, even yeah. though there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. It, it served its purpose, but now, yeah. We, yeah, we have to come to the 21st century. Well, David, it was good having you on the show. Tell everybody how to reach you and, you know, give a, a parting word before we go. Okay. You can reach me at 832-956-6000. That's my direct number. I answer it at all times. Say it again. I answer it at all times. Well, yep. not, not Say the now. number again. 832-956-6000. Uh, parting words. Home ownership is for everyone. I know some people feel like it's not. It is. You want to be able to control your destiny. Um, you want to be able to work with great realtors like Andres, and there's others out there that work as hard as him. Uh, there's other lenders that work just as hard as me or harder. Uh, but I can give you this one commitment, is that if you come to me and if you allow me to help you, you get a 110% commitment from me that I will help you all the way through the process. Um, Stay encouraged. Just know that there are people out here working on your behalf, and we want to we want to see you flourish. That's right. Excellent. I want to see you create wealth for yourself. That's what create wealth that is personal and generational, so you can pass it on to your children, to your grandchildren, to be able to use that equity for things that you want to do. Start a business. Put your kids through college. All those things are things you, you have the ability to do if you have a house and you have equity in it. So thank you, Damon. Thank um, you. Appreciate you coming on, man. Good, good information. Absolutely. And uh, Absolutely. you know, y'all go ahead and call him. I got his website on the on the post here. So go ahead and give him a call or get, or get a, uh, go to his website. His name, DamonSorrell.com. Damon. And uh, the good one. That's right. The good one. Damon Sorrell. I see I got it. I got good. it. After hour 20 minutes. That's all right. Thank y'all for coming on the show. Please share this video. If y'all need to reach me, my number is 832-883-0375. Go on to my website, andresjones.com, and you can set up a free consultation or we'll set you up a home buying plan. All right? Thank God, everybody.
came on, please share this video. We'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. Are you thinking one?